Now I'm just going to show you how to do a JBL phosphate test. So this is the sensitive phosphate test. You can get it in an individual packet or you can get it as a part of a JBL test lab. The key to doing accurate tests is make sure your test kits are not too old. Make sure that your test tubes are all nice and clean and then just follow the letter exactly what the instructions are saying. So let's do a little testy. So first of all, I need to put 10 mils of water into here, which I'll just get 10 mils, put in 10 mils of water that I want to test. Then I'm going to put that in my little comparison with a sand. That's just some water from the tank. And then we're going to be putting one spoon of the phosphate. So there's phosphate one and it's saying one spoon. So not the big spoon, but a little spoon. So what I'm going to do is scoopy scoop that in there. Try not to get any wet because the wet stuffs it all up. Get a nice little flat one of those. And that's going to go in there. Try not to get it wet. Tappy tap. Then I'm just going to give that a little shaky shake. Shaky shake and not stirred, Mr. Pond. Just give that a little shaky shaky shaky. Now, after I've given that a shaky shaky, I'm going to get number two and put in 10 drops. So there's number two, 10 drops. That. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm just going to give this a little shaky shake, make sure everything is all dissolved and having a good time in there. Now this has got to wait ten minutes, so I'm definitely not going to wait ten minutes. But I will tell you a little bit about phosphate and tell you what to do after the 10 minutes. So I've taken this out of a reef tank, so the phosphate level is very low. So I'm not gonna say that's zero because it's definitely not white like that. But then again, it doesn't really have much blue in it. It's got a bit gray in it. So I'm going to say that the color is basically between these two. So let's call that, whatever you want to call that, in between them. But you really got to do this after 10 minutes. And so far this is a three minute video, so this is not accurate. After three minutes, I just compare the color. And basically the main thing you're worried about with phosphate is that phosphate is going to cause algae in fresh and salt water aquariums. So if you have incorrect phosphate levels, you can expect more algae. Um, it can also be the case with phosphate that if you've got heaps and heaps of phosphates, you might have less algae, then you can start decreasing your phosphate and you can get in that little window where the algae loves it and you can actually get more phosphate. But then you, what you want to start doing is um, working out how you want to remove your phosphate. So improved water, water changes can help. Um, doing gravel siphons and filter cleans can help. Um, improving your food using foods such as Spectrum's probiotics can help. Um, and there's lots of liquids, resins, and other products to get phosphate out of the water. So you can start experimenting with that sort of thing. But ultimately, the lower your phosphate, particularly for a coral tank, the better. You want it definitely under one if you want to run corals. As far as your fish are concerned, phosphate's not really the end of the world. Like you can have phosphate off the chart and the fish are still okay, but it is gonna cause algae. And then the phosphate is going to bond with your calcium and carbonate and so forth and stop your corals from growing. So if you have corals in your tank, you really do not wanna run phosphate of about, say 0.1, one's a too high. So you really want that for your corals. But um, if you are getting too much algae in your tank, then phosphate's something that you might look at. Anyway, that's how you do a 
phosphate tests from JBL. There are many unreliable phosphate tests on the market, so um, just be aware of that. And basically, if your tank's running well, all good. If you are getting trouble, particularly with algae, it's good to bring a sample of your water down to the shop. A little video of the tank running so we can guide you and make sure that your tank is thriving in a manner in which that it deserves to.